All aboard, I'm getting all dressed up to meet Thomas the Tank Engine, the Royal Hudson and more. We're right on track today on the Express. <laughs> Coming up, Thomas comes once a year. New exhibits and old friends. It's a very big structure. And our train craze continues with a road trip to Vancouver Island. We try to prevent those kind of injuries from that repetitive nature of biking. Then switch gears to physiotherapy for your bike. We're on the move. Join us for the Express. Welcome to the Express on Shaw TV. I'm your Sea to Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald, and I'm proud to introduce to you my co-host for today, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> and he's really excited today because he's going to be giving kids rides here at the West Coast Railway Heritage Park for the next two weekends, June 2nd, 3rd, 9th and 10th. And that's just the start. Thomas comes once a year. He is a lot of fun and the other trains stand back and they let Thomas have his day. Well, I'm feeling a little starstruck here with Thomas. He has books, a television show, even a movie. What's he doing here in Squamish? Well, a big part of Thomas is a day out with Thomas. It's the big live event that travels all over North America. There's roughly 40 to 50 cities that Thomas goes to and uh, it's a huge event. I think some people have the misconception that it's a 25 minute train ride and a couple other things, but there's 10 other Thomas related activities on site and the average family is on the park site for at least two and a half hours. There are lots of things to do here at the West Coast Railway Heritage Park. We have a, a summer camp this year. It'll be Mondays to Thursdays, kids 7 to 11 years old. We have excursions, train rides, um, explorations of trains, sleepover in a, in a train, a real sleepover in a train on uh, one of the evenings. So it could be really a lot of fun. Thomas is a hit with the kids, but don't worry, adults and kids at heart will really enjoy the two new exhibits that are on display here. Where are we standing? You are standing in the Shovel Operator's Bunk Car. This is our newest exhibit. It is a fully restored accommodation that the shovel operators used to stay in when they were out on the railway. The other exhibit is actually really neat. The Squamish Historical Society has taken one of our buildings and they've created an entire uh, history of Squamish in there. All sorts of artifacts from the early days of Squamish. What a beautiful car. Oh, Nicole, this is beautiful. This is from 1890. This was a businessman's executive car. The executives would travel on the railway and they would have their meetings progressively in town to town. On our site, we have a three kilometer long mini rail train ride around the park. And for Thomas, we bring in extra trains. So we have five trains running simultaneously at the same time. And the kicker is we have a mini Thomas. The kids get a big kick out of that because we have the big Thomas and the little Thomas. So again, Thomas the Tank Engine is going to be hard at work for the next two weekends, June 2nd, 3rd, 9th and 10th here at the West Coast Railway Heritage Park. We're going to be giving away a family four pack later on in the show. Tickets are $20. Be sure to book early. This event sells out. Last year they had more than 12,000 people come through. From the magic of trains to the mystique of fashion, looking good isn't reserved just for the ladies anymore. Testosterone and trends do mix. On today's West Coast Style, our GQ makeover continues. Pacific Center's West Coast Style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansoor, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. It's all about the testosterone on today's West Coast Style. I'm tackling the bad reputation some men get for their scrubby style by giving local Vancouverite James Pistrine a casual to GQ makeover. In part one, we first took care of what his mama gave him. I got a new haircut, new hairstyle, and the shave was great, nice and close. Getting that GQ look doesn't just end with the face. It also ends with having a wardrobe that's fashion forward and tailored to fit. 
To give James a GQ-inspired wardrobe, I've called upon popular men's fashion stylist and blogger Peter Tai. His chic, drool-worthy style he documents on his blog, thestarvingstylist.com, has created a legion of fans, both male and female. It started off as like an online diary for myself, but later on it got a lot of recognition and a lot of people started to notice who I was as the starving stylist. I definitely need some new clothes. I'm really excited for uh, what Peter's got in store for me. So I'm hoping to make him more of a GQ, but you know, still keeping within his personality. Peter, I'm so excited to see James in look number one. So my James, come on out. Woo! I wanted to put him in like a nice, kind of like light colored suit mm -hmm. for spring, paired with like a nice brown shoe. And also, I wanted to incorporate kind of like the pocket square. Guys should use that more often. Can you explain uh, why going the slim fit is the best route? It's not about the label or the brand that's inside your suit, but it's more so how the suit fits and tailored towards the body. Now, obviously, Peter, he's in a very high-end suit, but you can achieve this look even if you are more on a budget, right? Of course, you can definitely achieve the same look by, you know, going to a discount like retailers, find a great tailor. That's it's, yes. that's the main focus. Were you afraid of the blue polka dot shirt we put you in? <laughs> uh, I was a little skeptical at first, but uh, Peter talked me into it, and I like it. I decided Leone because it's a great local store. Local business is always great, and they also have a great selection between like menswear and women's wear. All right, Peter, on to look number two. Okay, should be good. This is more the casual chic look. I put James into like a really nice like fitted denim. You can definitely dress it up like how I did right now with like a nice sports shirt and I layered it with a cardigan as well too, right? Which is a nice pop of color and a nice contrast between like the nice kind of chocolate brown. James, you look great. What do you love about this look? I like it's it's kind of casual. I mean I feel I feel like I could wear this almost every day. Now we're gonna prove that you can still look fashion forward even on the weekends. So I kind of put James into like a nice, like, nice little soft jacket, layered with more colored shirt, but more like fun. And also for a great alternative, I put James in uh, a pair of chinos. These shoes are really, really fun because they are a cross between a dress shoe and a sneaker. And sneaker. It's also fun to cuff up the sleeves because you can show that lining. It's no question that Peter and I think James looks great. But how does he feel with his GQ makeover? I think it's going to be easy now going out and looking for new clothes that I can wear out maybe a little less casual and a little bit more fun. If James can feel this good, then you can too. Remember that just because you're a guy doesn't mean you can't look put together and fashionable. All it takes is some extra care, a bit of risk, and confidence to become GQ certified. Hey, even Clooney and Pitt would agree. I'm Mana Mansoor for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. From a discussion on men in fashion to women in power or lack thereof, Big Sisters is hosting a fundraising screening of misrepresentation June 6 at the Scotiabank Theatre in Vancouver. It's a very powerful film. Have you ever wanted to be a train conductor? Well, kids ages 6 to 11 can here at the summer camps at the West Coast Railway Heritage Park. The Express, we're your local voice. It's always the perfect fit every time. You want to just hop back on and see how that feels? Sure. After the break, sizing up your bike to your body for one sweet ride. Incredible materials, solid as a rock. And what does a $5 million masterpiece feel like? It might feel like home. Nicole Fitzgerald's clothing provided by Peak Performance. Ski gear provided by Nordica. Hair styling by The Loft Salon. Makeup by Beauty Mark. Parking provided by the Fire Rock Lounge.